Hello, how y'all doing? Welcome to Book Reviews by Bird, Manian Devil Productions. I'm your host, David E. McClendon Sr., and we'll roll into our video in just a second, but first a word of prayer. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for all the many blessings you bestowed upon us. Thank you for our YouTube watchers, all of our blog followers, all of our blog readers, all the publishers, publicists, authors, illustrators, merchandisers, manufacturer representatives, and others that we come in contact with via these blogs and these YouTube channels. If there's anyone out there seeking to find you, please help them to find you. It's in Jesus Christ, Yeshua's most holy and most precious name that we pray by the power of his blood. Amen. The Tears of Gethsemane. Let me tell you, this book, I had a lot of problem in the very beginning of this. And it wasn't because of the writing. It wasn't because of the author. It was because evidently the enemy was trying to keep me from being able to get this blessing. I had to stop and pray and start over several times and pray and really get into some serious prayer um, before I began to be able to wrap my head around it. Again, it wasn't because of the book. It was because of um, the enemy trying to keep me from getting this blessing. Now, this book is very well written. It's very interesting. Now, I have to say there's a couple of places where my theology is, differs from the theology of the author, but that's probably coming from you know where I am um, in my religious walk. I was raised a Southern Baptist, very fundamental, very fundamental Southern Baptist. My wife was raised, um, her uncle is a Pentecostal holiness preacher, and she was pretty much raised in the holiness church, and uh, so very charismatic, and we're a very charismatic fundamentalist kind of family. We both agree on, you know, our, our theology, how we see the religion, how we see God's spoken word, and that we believe that you don't add anything to it. If it doesn't say something specifically in the Bible, God doesn't need our help. Absolutely, God doesn't need our help. Um, that you don't add it into a conversation. You know, it, If it takes place in the Bible, then you talk about it from the pulpit or in a religious text. And if it doesn't, you, know, you can't assume anything because we don't know. Anyway, I very much feel like this is the kind of book that will give you a true blessing. I think this is the kind of book that uh, church groups should have a small Bible study, get together each week, read one chapter, and discuss it, pray over it, discuss it. Each week, get together and have that uh, uh, discussion about you know what they've learned and what they've read and get together and maybe discuss it point by point. I wholeheartedly suggest when you're reading this book to sit down with your favorite translation of the Bible and maybe one other and uh, try to get your, your head really around what the scriptures are saying, really around what the, the author is trying to say. Now, it will truly be a blessing for you. I think that uh, you're going to need to enter into your prayer closet because this is a message that Satan doesn't want you to have. So you need to get down on your knees, get into your prayer closet, get with your uh, church group, whatever, read this book. It's important that you do. I think every Christian should, should read this. And I thank you. Ordinarily, on the next to the last slide, we have uh, some comic relief, either our plastic skulls, uh, Hamlet, Hammy, and uh, Yorick come in and we kind of goof around with them. Or uh, we have the Snookies, Fred and Mackenzie come in and we kind of play around with them, have a little lighthearted banter, some jokes and that sort of thing. But on something as serious as this, I think what we need to do is have an extra word of prayer. So join with me in prayer. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. Thank you for all the many blessings you've bestowed upon us. Thank you for everything you've done for us, everything that you've meant in our life. Please be with everyone who tries to read through this book to help them to get the, the message of the book, the spirit of the book, and to really be able to understand it. Please bless the reading of this word. Please help us in our Christian walk and our Christian faith and help others to see Jesus in us. It's in Jesus Christ, Yeshua's most holy and most precious name that we pray by the power of his blood. Amen. Ready to order? Click the link below.